Hello everyone, welcome to Useful React Components series. In this tutorial, we will talk about two libraries that we combine together, React Select and React Hook Form. And we added some kind of custom styling, which is kind of like a floating style to the select form. So let's learn how to do okay, that. Here's a final product that we will learn by the end of this tutorial. It has a drop down that uh, if you click on it, you'll find multiple items on it and you can search and it will filter it and you can select and as you can see, it has kind of like a floating label. So as soon as you remove it, it backs up and uh, enlarges. Uh, and you can add multiple items. And if I submit, it shows it, it, it will call the callback function and it shows the items that is that are selected so if i click and just submit one of them only one of them will be show up when we submit the form and it's using the react select hook form and it has some validation so if the field is required it says that you have to select an option as soon as you select an option it will remove the error so let's build it okay if you have watched past few tutorials uh, you are aware of the style that we are going forward uh, and I highly recommend to watch the previous tutorials uh, of this series so you get familiar how we build these form elements. For this tutorial, since we use React Select, we need to install it on our package.json. This is package.json file that we have on our project and we need to do npm install React Select. So on your um, terminal just do react uh, npm install uh, space uh, react dash select so it will install it for you i already installed it so i'll not install it again uh, and then we have the project structure that we had for uh, previous tutorials as well uh, as you can see there's a src folder and in src folder we have components uh, we don't talk about the Redux, we don't use it, uh, but in these components, there is a profile and uh, this profile has a profile page and there is a form inside of this page and there is a shared folder which uh, we talk about this width form and this width form is a HOC component that we will talk about it. But let's start from the profile page that we already had from the previous tutorials as well. Uh, as you can see, it's a very simple component. Uh, it just has a header that we saw in the demo and it basically initializes this personal info form that we have on the left hand side as a file. And it has one callback function. Basically, this is a submit callback function that we have and whatever uh, it, it's only adding the form data that we receive from the form and add it to the console that's all it does but you can do anything you want with the form data you can submit the form to your server or anything else but that's all about this page so it is very simple it just adds this uh, form to the view and it uh, implements its callback but let's go to the uh, form itself. So if I go to the form, uh, I can just um, collapse this. Uh, and I see only the render part. Uh, I can just check this one first. If you look at the uh, component that we added here, uh, there is a component called floating multiple select field. This is basically a custom component that we I added uh, and it re receives some uh, props that if you provide these props, uh, the form select will work for you as it expected. So how do you uh, provide these props? Some of these props are uh, provided with the HOC with form that we already have on our uh, files. This is with form. So how you can retrieve these props, it's very easy since it's a HOC that you already have it at the bottom. So you can get these props from that HOC. So these are the props that we're using, register, error, controller, and control. If you have watched the previous tutorials, we worked only with register and errors. 
I added these two controller and control and I pass these two props inside of the new component that we have here we have a select so this is the label that we use for uh, our component uh, so it shows up at the, as a label of our select uh, we have a name for this field so this is the name that you can specify and you can provide some options so I hard coded here but you can add any options that you want uh, to your form um, and it will be showing on the drop down of the menu uh, we have form control props uh, if you want your form to be a required field so you just pass this but if you don't want it to be required you just remove this part and it will not be required and you can just pass it so uh, and if you want to show error message uh, to the form uh, you can just add this error message so I currently I added select an option so if have they if, if they have not select any option uh, it will show this error message to the view that is all about the form itself we will talk about the floating multiple select field what props what what other props props it has and we'll talk about the width form and what what has changed from the previous tutorial but now let's talk about what changed what we changed for the hoc width form the only thing that we changed from previous tutorials is uh, we basically added this controller and control so we get both of these from the import so if i go up you'll see that controller and then we pass it basically here and this control is coming from use form as you can see here so this line 27 and we pass it over to the wrapped component and that's how we get these props here so controller and control because we want to modify this react select we need this controller uh, to pass in that's all from the HOC that we changed everything else is ch uh, the same uh, we also added the types controller and control uh, I, for now I used any but it's better to use the actual type so yeah that's all it's changed for bit form okay now let's talk about the actual component for this floating multiple select field that we created I'll start from the imports uh, these are the things that we imported basically form from bootstrap select from react select we have some styling of course react and we have some custom value container I'll talk about this one later and we have some types uh, this is basically the types of each pills inside of the select it has a value and a label and of course the types of the component itself so these are the uh, props that we can modify when we initialize our component so for now I collapse I mean expand and uh, yeah then uh, in the render method uh, we have form group from bootstrap so this is not something new but this is something new this is the controller basically we get this controller that we passed here remember we passed the controller here so we get it inside of the element and we just store it in a variable and we can keep it like a component here so then we pass some of the props that we receive uh, from the top so we receive the required if the if this form is required or not we've received uh, the control remember that we passing the control as well to the props so we pass it again and this control is coming from the width form so we pass it here and we pass also the default values if we have any default value it will be returned here and the name of the uh, field from here it gets a little bit complicated because we want to have a custom select form 
we need to have uh, to modify this render component of this react select so let me expand it and I'll talk about it so basically it has a callback function as you can see here and this callback function has get some uh, parameters the parameters that we are using is on change value name ref and form state and this is what we return inside of this function so what do we return we basically return the select and we return the validation that is for the form so uh, if if you see the documentation for react select you will see some of these properties and it explain what property is doing what uh, so these are not things that I added for the component these are basically it's coming from the documentation I just modified it uh, but some of them are very easy to understand for example if the form uh, element is required we can just pass this uh, props if you want to have the uh, multiple selection is uh, true uh, you, they can, you can select multiple items uh, but you can pass if it can only select one item uh, you have to pass ref no matter what so in ref you just pass ref that you get from the callback function and you pass the name of the field uh, the components this is the component that I showed here uh, basically it's an input no, no, sorry this is not yeah this is the custom select value because we need the custom component for the value we had to create the, our own uh, custom value we will go through it but just for now know that for the component we for select component we added a whole custom view uh, we also have a placeholder by default the placeholder is select but I wanted to have some kind of like dynamic placeholder and if you remember the select was going kind of like a floating so I had to modify it to the uh, style that I needed and that's why we have the style here as well so we'll go through this style as well it's also a little bit complicated these are the things that you just have to know but you can just easily use it without knowing it but I explain it so you get more uh, context around each props uh, so these are the options for the uh, select so we're passing these options here inside of the form so for example it has red color and blue color so you can pass any options to this function and this is the value basically you pass this value it filters based on the one that you selected and on change handler uh, we have this function that basically it maps uh, and it uh, detects the change and it adds the value based on the changes so let's go through this style and talk about why we have these changes on style basically it checks for the style uh, checks the different state of the form so if it has the value it applies some change if it doesn't have the value it applies some other changes so for example for placeholder we have some kind of animation that it uh, changes the placeholder from the from font size that you can see here I think it was 12 to 13 and it, it kind of like show it in a cool animation and it just uh, adds the margin top minus 10 because it wants to move the um, label to the top so that's why we have this number here so these are kind of like a magic number we can add these to the props so you can play with it but I play with it uh, to match with most of the screen sizes so these numbers are kind of like match with most of the screens like iPhone, iPad, desktop uh, but I haven't tried TV so you can select you can modify these numbers based on your 
view element. But yeah, that's all about this style that you should know. So you can play with it and look at your uh, field and see if it satisfies your view. Okay, here is the animation that I was talking about. Uh, just pay attention to this favorite color. As soon as I close this, the font size is changing and it goes a little bit closer. And again, if I choose any value, it goes back and change the font size. That's the animation that we had on the start. Uh, the last file that we need to talk is the one that I promised here that we used in components, basically the custom select value container. And uh, it's, it's getting some values from the React select. Basically, it gets the components from React select and components has two props value container and placeholder uh, so i create the value container and inside it is this basically the value container is 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 this part all of the values will come here and this is the container for it and it has also a placeholder that we passed this placeholder to it so as you can see we pass this placeholder since we want it to be custom we pass it to this component and it also gets the children so we map all of the children and children are basically the pill okay we're adding form elements little by little so if i add the form elements that we had for previous tutorials so it will be the ones that we can use here so let's put the rest of them and see the view Basically, I added the input value, text field, date picker, and this regular select, and you'll see the view like this. It has all of the form elements. It has validations, and if I just reload the form, you can input uh, the value for it, and date picker, and this is the regular select and this is the pill for multiple select and if I submit the form it will give me all of the form elements here so we will add more form elements like checkboxes and radio buttons and all of these